everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Chrissy. Friends, we are back for another Treasure World <laughs> map um, episode. This is uh, episode two and the boys are in, where are we today? We are in Fukui and Nagoya. So the boys are still in Japan. I believe the first episode they were in Osaka trying to remember from last week, um, but I'm really excited uh, for another episode of Treasure World Map. Just before I get into this, just a little update for anybody who is about to watch Boys Planet. Um, I am starting Boys Planet tomorrow. I believe that's when the English subtitles are going to be out like on Vicky, but I am starting Boys Planet over on Patreon and um, also for my carrots uh, in the soup season two. We started watching over there. Um, Alice in Borderland. We're on episode five. And then for my MOAs, um, I have a 4K studio tomb to Sugar Rush Ride, which is open and free for everybody. So if you guys want to go watch the... Um, Sugar Rush Ride 4K Studio Tomb Reaction. You can head over there. Um, but I am going to stop talking and we are going to get into episode two. So here we go. I'm so excited. Saibin and Yoshi. Wait, is this in 4K? Hold on, let me just change. HD. Oh, look at Rudo's little bun. Oh, I love Haruto's hair like that. Ah, the little pony! The glasses, they're so fresh. <laughs> okay, but that is a good color blonde. That's the color I wish that my hair reached when I was blonde. Wait, what is on Jungle's glasses? I'm trying to see what's on Jungle's glasses. I'm like, what is hanging off his glasses? <laughs> Those look so good. <laughs> this is one this is literally haruto's best look i love his hair long in the pony so much oh it's so good Come on, kid. Okay, okay, okay. Two maids, let's go. You better work. You say I don't sweat. Bro, he's so tall. Help. Dude, this is my. Is this like. Why do I feel like. I feel like the whole. Their whole tour so far, I feel like I've been so out of the loop with because there's just so much content. So it's like a lot to take in. But these stage outfits, I never actually like really took in these stage outfits. They're so good. I love the styling. Oh, Jungwon's hair. Oh, it's so good. Fighting. Is that Jihoon in the back? 
불안 저의 모습을 아사히 마이 스윌 아사히 미니 소 프라이즈 오게 햄 괜찮 괜찮지 않나요? 스윗하트 오늘 이해 하는데요 이제 1회차 공연 한번 잘 마치고 By the way, am I pronouncing this correct? Is it? 괜찮 괜찮지 않나요? I think it's it's Fukui, right? Is that how you is that how I'm saying it? I hope I'm saying it okay. I tried to look up the pronunciation to make sure I was saying it properly. Why does this look? Is it me? Why does this video look so grainy? Like, I feel like maybe it's just the video or is it my computer? Because I feel like the HD version is a little. Is that better? Ah, uh, there we go. I'm like, why was it so grainy? Ugh, Daniel, bye. Also, not Danny getting buff as hell lately. Beautiful. The choker. Encore 전입니다. 또 후쿠이의 뜨거운 열기 덕분에 저는 힘들지 않게 즐기면서 하고 있습니다. 여러분들도 보시면 저희 백스테이지에서 이런 모습을 보고 있습니다. Wow! Oh, the light sticks look so pretty. Oh my gosh! Oh! Do Young's birthday! Oh my goodness! Sweetie! Wasn't this back in December, right? His birthday's in December? <laughs> Cutie pie! I really wish because I feel like I feel like obviously they they performed a lot of their Japanese tracks because they were in Japan. And I feel like a lot of the times, too, when like K-pop groups, they come to the States, they will obviously not sing the Japanese tracks because they're in the States, which is like one of the it's such like a. Oh, it's so sad because the way that I just want to hear this song live once, just once. It's kind of similar to how I felt about when I saw Seventeen and I was like, the way that I would give my left leg to hear them perform Fallen Flower is the way that I would give my right leg to hear Treasure perform this <laughs> in a concert. I would ascend. Like, how did y'all, how did y'all who even attended this show even survive it. I would have been like crying on the floor. <laughs> he said, "Woo!" Daniel. <laughs> he is so fine. It's still so surreal. It's so surreal to me to, to like look out into that crowd to see all of those people, like all of the fans, like with all their lights. Like they are so treasure is so famous. Like you ever just stop and really think about how famous treasure is? Like they're insane. Like they're insane. I I can't believe, and it just makes me so proud thinking back to like their debut, or even from like YG Treasure Box. I don't know. I always get like so nostalgic when it comes to like 
my fave boys, you know, but it's it makes my heart. It makes my heart swell because I know that everybody like that really awkward, like 2020 to like 2021 ish, 22 was so weird from like the pandemic and having like them not being able to perform in front of people. And now they're in front of like these massive, massive crowds and performing in like their homes, like in Japan. And there's tons of people. It's just like so wild to see. And it just fills my heart, really. It must have been real. It just must have been really surreal for them to go from like not being able to. I'm sorry, I have to say this again. <laughs> Performing in front of like nobody to just all of a sudden these massive amounts of people. Like it must be like such a crazy feeling for them. Okay, I'm gonna stop. <sighs> Back to Do Young. <laughs> Sweet pea. My boy. Oh. I love these photos so much. <gasps> that freaking lover boy hat. I love it so much. <laughs> so cute. The freaking outfits are on point. Yoshi's outfit. Oh my gosh. Oh. ってないやつ。わ。これ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ
You know, when I think about it too, like a lot of the the groups that I like stand, they were in the middle of tours when they had to like they were in the middle of tours and then went to the award shows and stuff. But, like same with Treasure. I never like it never occurred to me that they were like in the middle of tour when they had to like I don't know. It's just crazy. I get so I get so interested with the way that um groups work, the way that they just are always practicing and their schedules are so tight and packed, especially when they're like touring and they have to literally go from this huge tour and one day they're doing this massive freaking concert and then it's like right after their show or whatever, then they go and practice for like an award show and then they're just flying back and forth. It's like, the it's so fast paced. I just don't know how they keep up with it. Truly, I would be burnt out after like one day and be like, okay, that's enough for me. I'm retiring. <laughs> And we all know that they killed it at the award shows this year. Kings of making award shows their own concerts. Hey. I love his I love his hat so much. What's going on? Oh, oh my god, did they get him something? A hat and a cake? Stop! Stop! Best boys ever! Best boys ever! I love them so much! He's so loved. Oh my god, I just love that they all have each other. <laughs> the way they all just chime in without even looking up. Oh, his face! My sweet boy! Oh my god. I don't think anybody understands. If anybody knows me at all, like any of my close friends and family, they know the one thing that I do and the one thing that I will literally like for the remainder of my life, when it is your birthday, I am celebrating that with you. Like I love birthdays so much. It makes me so happy to see people celebrating birthdays. I don't know why. I don't know why I just love it. I feel so like warm and fulfilled because I'm like, you were born. Like, you were born today. Like, you were brought into this world, and you're amazing. Like, happy birthday. <laughs> I get so much, like, satisfaction when, like, other members of, group of like, the group um, or just, like, any group, they celebrate their boys' birthdays. It just makes me so, like, they're loved, and they have a little family around them. It's so cute. And the fact that they celebrated his birthday so much, too. And they bought him something. Oh, so cool. oh my god, cutie. Oh my god, cutie. He said I bought that with my own money. <laughs> Side note. <laughs> So cute. I love how the older the older members take care of the younger ones. It makes my heart so full. Jay, I think you're the most attractive human being to ever exist.
What is that? Is it like a little cake or something? I <laughs> saw. What? Excuse me. Why did I not realize that he had a back? That entire look on Asahi. Oh, that's the look. That right there is my my fave look on him. Oh my goodness. I don't know why Asahi hits so different when he's I don't know, just existing with a cap on and sportswear. Anyway, moving on. Jungle is eating a sausage. Jun is being cute. Wait. Oh, look at these photos. Oh, it's Jay with the chocolate. Asahi. That man is, he's so fine. Cuties. I have to pause on all of them. Oh my God, they're so cute. Best boys. Are we done? Oh, hello. My sleeve is literally like, what is this? My sleeve is legitimately stuck to the thing. Okay, not anymore. Um, let me just slide on over. Um, hi, I love treasure. <laughs> Me at the end of every treasure reaction. I love them. <laughs> uh, Asahi, I'm going to need Asahi to start wearing backwards caps a little bit more because he looks good. He looks really good. Uh, anyways, I love my boys. I'm so proud of my boys. I love my little family. They love each other so much and it genuinely makes my heart swell. I love seeing Do Young being celebrated by all the, the boys and being so loved. And he's got such like loving people around him. Also, Hyun Suk, best leader ever. Literally the only man ever. I love him to the moon and back. And he's, he's just such a man. I just love, I love him so much. But anyways, um, that was fun. I am really loving this so far. I really love this little treasure map world, tre treasure world, treasure world. Map. Actually, you know what? I do kind of like this as well. Um, obviously it is different than like regular treasure map, but I think the reason why I kind of like the treasure world map thing vibe is because it's not like it's just it's just like vlog it's basically just vlogs it's like them just vlogging in whatever country they're in doing their own thing and I like that like I know treasure map was more like set up where they had like select variety and select like games and stuff they were doing or like um like a set program for that day or like a theme or whatever which was also super fun and like I really need that back eventually of course and would love that but I also just really enjoy sometimes just seeing them hang out with each other and just like vibe and just vlog around and show me where they are and like some cool destination spots take pictures like what they're up to and that's what I feel like we're getting with um the remainder of these treasure world map episodes so I'm so happy with that and I just love them so much um I'm guessing we're probably gonna get another one next week episode three uh I don't know if that's still in Japan to be honest like I said I kind of totally forget what tour dates they had prior and where they were um in the past few months because I feel like I feel like Treasure has been touring for a hot minute and like performing in a lot of places for a long time. So I'm not really sure what the where the next one's going to be or what. But in any case, I'm seated and I'm here for it. Um, and I hope that you guys are here with me as well. And I thank you guys so much for watching this with me. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on social media. Friends, everything is in the description below. Uh, hello, 70% of you watch my videos and don't subscribe to me. That hurts my feelings. So please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more treasure content. Also, um, what else is I going to say? I forget what I was going to say. Uh, I love y'all and I hope you have a wonderful day or night, no matter where you are in the beautiful wide world. But until next time, I will see you guys soon. I love y'all. Bye. Mwah!